Today's food of thought comes from the 12th chapter of Luke's gospel in the 15th verse, which reads, And he said to them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. I want you to know today that all of us, we are more than just our flesh and blood. I want you to understand that you, you are more than how the world defines you, how the world looks at you. You see, many people, they try to define us by the color of our skin. They try to define us by the way in which we talk or how we walk. Even worse out of all of those things is that we have been led to believe and we have bought into the notion that we should have what others have, if not more than what they have. But Jesus, he said very plainly here today that we need to beware of worldly ambitions like covetousness and like greed and like lust. Jesus said very plainly that our life does not consist in the abundance of the things we might possess. To ever think that our life is just about all of what we have gained and what we possess, that would be rather shallow of us. And the sad part about that statement is that there are so many people who are shallow today. They are shallow enough to believe that life is simply about the material possessions and they'll give all of their time to, to gathering the in those possessions. One who lives in the way of Christ with a God first mindset, we come to realize that life consists not just about what we can do to prosper ourselves. Yes, life is, is about more than just making ourselves happy. You see, life consists of what we can do to help uplift ourselves, but also again, all of those that are around us. So the encouragement of Christ for all of us today is that we will be rich toward God when we don't live in a manner of simply laying up treasures for ourselves. Let us do the job of helping and loving one another. You see, that is what life is all about. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.